On the square, we continue to talk Oscars, turning to the fashion winners of the night. As always, the stars did not disappoint, bringing out the unusual and stunning styles, setting new trends. A designer who calls Portland home knows the pressure of dressing someone for the red carpet and has a keen eye for the best looks of the night. Ah, yes, yeah, Spike Lee looking fine there. Michelle DeCourcy joins us with a list of who caught her attention in terms of capturing that right look on right. awards night. Let's start, Michelle, with the women. Who did you like? Well, my favorite look of the night would have to go to Laura Harrier. She looked so stunning in that ethereal blue Louis Vuitton. And she was also one of the early adopters for the eco-conscious movement and the green initiative that we're seeing on the red carpet. Yeah. And so, was it the color that most captured your attention here? It was the color and it was the cut and there was so much old school Hollywood glamour going on here but the modernity that was brought into the silhouette along with the, the placement of the crystal, it just was perfection. Yeah, that mm -hmm. is stunning. Brie just Larson perfection. also caught your eye, right? Brie Larson, yeah. yeah. This, it, I mean, the metallics were out in full force last night. Look it was a strong feminine red carpet, obviously. Um, and you saw a lot of blurred lines with gender neutral fabric, power suits, but the metallics were also just a really strong component to that. And Brie Larson's shoulder-bearing Celine gown was Perfection. perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, really was. speaking of metallics, I think no one wore it uh, any more brightly than Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Jennifer Lopez. And you like Lopez. that look as well. I do. I do. Jennifer Lopez pretty much nails the red carpet every, every time. And look single at her hair. Time. Her hair, her makeup, <laughs> the cut of the Tom Ford dress that she's wearing is yeah. classic. It's not too revealing, but it's one Which of the Which is unusual for her. Very, very unusual, but it's still dripping yeah. with mm -hmm. sexiness. Quickly, too, Gemma Chan. I was wearing a Valentino, right? Gemma Chan. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. The ruffles, you know, it's like a big cupcake. Right. But that highlighter pink gave it a little edge, almost a little punk rock right. to its floaty. Uh, nature. So. Now the pink color was common. Yeah, the pink was a was definitely the color of the evening. Mm -hmm. Bright, rich, saturated hues of pink were were the night. All right, let's get to the man. Jason Momoa was wearing something that that really caught everybody's eye. Right? Did this is Aquaman again? Right? This pink, is great. right? Yeah, so this we're is seeing Aquaman. the pink story continue. This is That's Aquaman. Great. This was a beautiful uh, tribute also to the late Carl Lagerfeld. This was designed by him when he was with Fendi. Yeah and uh, is a made to measure tuxedo that he don't And quickly, we want to get through these. David Ayelowo also nailed it, right? Nailed it. Yeah? Oh yeah. What was great about his? I love the velvet that the men were wearing. Yeah. Uh, I really, really did. And he also had an ode to Nigeria with the green and white where he's from. Right. So we're seeing the red carpet have a little more to say. Yeah, the black tux, you know, was not really the standard of the night. It wasn't. It mm -hmm. wasn't. It was very refreshing to see. It, is Mahershala it, Ali, yeah. I want to get to him this as well. Now, he took home the Academy Award um, for Green Book and right. kind of topped it off with a nice look velvet, on his head there. Yeah. A velvet beanie. Mm -hmm. I mean, that just made it. To yeah. me, that was everything to complete this ensemble, and he looks stunning. Not a lot of time left. Give us a quick recap here. Is it about doing something stunning? Is it about going with the classic old school? I mean, or is everybody different to just grab the attention on the red carpet? I think everyone's different. Yeah. I think seeing some of the early adopters to the green initiative on the red carpet, yeah. to me, uh, is the most important yeah. thing that we saw last night, right. and the bold statements that were made. and. The things that were unsaid. When you talk things. about sustainability, are you talking fabrics or what other choices are they making? Yeah, fabrics, um, eco consciousness to how they source fabrics to product development, yeah. all the way through, you know, it starts with thread. So everything mm -hmm. from the thread up. So fa fabric and textiles. Um, where crystals are sourced, the climate, the conditions. Um, so many things to so take into consideration. Into it, well, yeah. you are looking like a winner today, Michelle. Oh, thank, thank you. Thanks so are you for coming by. by. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. So are you, Kathy. <laughs> always, you, <laughs> always <laughs> amazing. Hey, I'm, I'm upset Bradley Cooper wasn't on your list, though, but we'll oh, talk about well, that later. Well, other reasons. Yeah. <laughs> talk about it later. You've been talking about it all day. <laughs> yeah. all Thanks right. for coming by, Michelle. All right, thank you.